from prehistoric dire wolves to the modern day mind wolf. Here are 16 of the weirdest wild canids. 16. Darwin's Fox Technically, this critter is more closely related to wolves than to foxes, and it's noted for its dark coloration and short legs. It was named for the English naturalist Charles Darwin, who discovered the species in 1834. These critters are found only in two locations in Chile, the island of Chiloe and the Nahuelbuta National Park. Sad to say, the numbers are threatened by hunting, habitat loss, and the intrusion of non-native species like domestic dogs. 15. Ethiopian Wolf Its distinguishing physical traits include red and white fur, along with a long, narrow skull. In terms of size and build, they are about the size of a coyote, and experts say that DNA analysis confirms that these animals are closely related to coyotes and gray wolves, more so than any other African canid. They're noted for having an unusual and temporary relationship with gelada monkeys that populate the Ethiopian highlands. The wolves will not prey on juvenile monkeys, and in return, the monkeys allow solitary wolves to forage for rodents in the midst. Did you know that Ethiopian wolf is one of the rarest canids in the world? 14. Kulpayo It's sometimes known as the Andean wolf, and weighing up to 30 pounds, it's actually the second largest canid in South America after the Maine wolf, which we'll get to shortly. With its reddish-gray fur, it greatly resembles the better-known red fox. This animal is known as an opportunistic predator, and it hunts mainly rabbits, birds, and lizards. It's also known to attack sheep occasionally, and that has led to the animal being poisoned or hunted down. Populations of the Kulpeo can be commonly found on the western slopes of the Andes, and at one time the animal was domesticated to become the Fuegian dog, but that species was exterminated by 1919 due to their extreme aggression toward humans. 13. Dire Wolf now, The name of this creature has become closely linked to Game of Thrones, but it was around for a long time before that hit show arrived, say around 125,000 years or so. Along with its extinct rival Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat, this creature lived in the Americas until a bit over 9,400 years ago. Experts say the animal would have been around the same size as a modern-day gray wolf and weighed around 150 pounds on average. It would also have been a rugged, hypercarnivorous predator who hunted down bison, ground sloths, and even mastodons, among other prey. Experts say they could have inflicted a bone-crushing bite because the dire wolf is said to have had the strongest bite force at the canine tooth among any species of canis. 12. Arabian Wolf Not surprising to find that this subspecies of grey wolf is found on the Arabian Peninsula. What is surprising, though, is its size. Weighing around 45 pounds, this is among the smallest wolves known. It's evolved to survive in an arid desert environment. In fact, experts say that the critter's smaller size helps it in adapting to its hot and dry habitat. And while its wintertime coat sheds for summer, it retains longer fur along its back for protection against the sun. The proportionately larger ears help to disperse its body heat, and the wolf will also rest in the shade of the deep dens that it digs. 11. Short-Eared Dog now, This one calls the Amazon Basin home and appears to have a feline appearance. In fact, among other canids, this elusive dog is noted for moving with a feline grace. It's mainly a carnivore with small mammals, insects, and fish comprising the majority of its diet. Some of its unique features include the females being about a third larger than the males. And the dogs have webbed paws, which is an adaptation to its rainforest environment. It is considered to be one of the most unusual of canids and seemingly bears no close relation to any other wolf-like or fox-like canid. 10. Bat-Eared Fox Well, here's another canid on the list that appears to be all ears. Now, this smaller species of fox uses its large ears as a means of thermoregulation. Each ear can measure more than 5 inches long, and it's filled with blood vessels that help the animal keep its cool in its hot African habitat. 
and as you might guess, ears that big provide the critter with a great sense of hearing as well. Along with its unusual appearance, the animal has an unusual diet, 70% of which is comprised of insects, which they can locate by sound. Did you know that the male of this species is called a fox, and the female is called a vixen? 9. Epicyon now, This animal existed for around 15 million years in North America and belonged to a group of canids that were known as bone-crushing dogs. They could measure around 5 feet long and weigh up to 370 pounds. Its huge head and strong jaws gave it an appearance that was more lion-like than wolf-like. And according to certain sources, this creature is one of, if not the, largest known species of canid. 8. Fennec Fox Definitely tough to miss the ears on this critter, and they're not simply ornamental. Those ears enable this canid to hear prey even when it's underground. They also serve to help the fox dissipate the heat of the Sahara Desert, a feature we've seen in some of the other creatures on the list. Their fluffy coats not only deflect the high temperatures there, but also serve to keep the animals warm at night. Weighing less than 4 pounds, this is recognized as the smallest species of canid. 7. New Guinea Singing Dog While it isn't known for exactly belting out the show tunes, these critters do display some unique vocalizations with their melodious howling. It starts with a sudden increase in pitch and ends with much higher frequencies. The dogs are documented to engage in chorus howling, while all of them howl in unison. Experts say that the sound has no link to any extant canid or dog-like animal. They're endemic to Papua New Guinea and are close relatives of the dingo, even though the species are deemed to be separate. Overall, these singing dogs are considered to be very rare indeed, with only two sightings of them in the natural habitat confirmed over the past three decades. The most recent photo of a singing dog was taken in 2012. 6. Jackals These medium-sized wild mammals have a good degree of brand awareness regarding their perceived talents for craftiness or duplicity. One lesser-known talent might be the habit of being monogamous, and they will mate for life. The animals will fiercely defend the territory, too, able to sprint for extended periods for up to 10 miles per hour thanks to the large feet and long legs. Jackals belong to a genus that includes domestic dogs and coyotes, and in fact, coyotes are often referred to as American jackals. 5. Dole Native to Central and Southeast Asia, the medium-sized dole is also known, understandably, as the Asiatic wild dog. And even though it resembles other canid species like the African wild dog, it's a very unique animal. In fact, it is the sole member of its genus. They're known to be social critters that will live in packs throughout their lives. And because they favor those large packs, they can occasionally take down larger prey like deer. But the populations require a lot of land, almost five times more than a comparable number of tigers would need. One thing that still mystifies experts is how doles create the distinct vocal calls that help to coordinate the packs. Those sounds are said to be so distinct that individual animals have their own unique calls and can be identified by such. 4. Raccoon Dog They do resemble raccoons quite a bit. However, the two species are completely unrelated. These creatures are indigenous to East Asia, but have also been introduced to Europe, and they're the only known canids that hibernate. Like the dole, raccoon dogs do not bark. They emit a growl followed by a dirge-like whine. And not unlike the North American gray fox, these animals have the habit of regularly climbing trees, making them the only two canids with that behavior. But native East Asian populations of the raccoon dog have diminished in recent years due to urbanization, hunting, and the fur trade. The animals also serve as prey for wolves and for birds of prey like the golden eagle. 3. Bear Dogs now, These creatures belong to a large extinct suborder of carniforms, or dog-like carnivores. 
The suborder includes both dogs and bears, but experts say that these animals were closer to true dogs than to the ursids. Formerly identified as amphicyanids, they evolved from having wolf-like bodies to forms that more resemble bears and could weigh more than 1,300 pounds. Their exact origins remain a mystery, and although they inhabited Europe, Asia, and Africa, there is evidence to suggest the animals were native to North America. The critters went extinct more than two and a half million years ago. Two, dingoes. Along with kangaroos and koalas, these are some of Australia's most iconic animals. And thanks to that 1988 film, A Cry in the Dark, they've been forever linked to stealing babies. But these carnids from Oz have had a fearsome reputation for a long time, no doubt because they are considered to be the largest terrestrial predator on the continent. Their exact origin and ancestry is still debated, although it's thought that the animals arrived in Australia with seafarers between 3,000 to 5,000 years ago. However, those numbers, well, they are debated as well. One thing that is not under debate is the animals attacking livestock over the years. Dingoes became so great a pest that the dingo fence was constructed to help keep the animals at bay. At nearly 3,500 miles long, or more than 5,600 kilometers, it is one of the world's longest structures. One, mind wolf. Its name notwithstanding, this creature is not a wolf. And even though it has markings that resemble that of a fox, it's not a fox either. In fact, it's not so closely related to other canids at all, even though it is classified as such. So what exactly is this thing? Well, it is the sole member of the genus Chrysocean, or Golden Dog. Standing almost three feet tall at the shoulder and weighing more than 50 pounds, this is regarded as South America's largest canid. They're found in the grasslands of that continent from Brazil to Argentina. And said to be the tallest of wild canids, they would be difficult to miss, thanks to those distinguishing physical traits that include the animal's long black legs and its namesake black mane. And that mane can actually help in making the animal's profile appear larger when it displays aggression or feels under threat. Did you know that the maned wolf is also known as the skunk wolf? And that is a reference to how the animal marks its territory with a distinctive odor. 